Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Ed. We've got an assignment. Really? Yes. From who? MPB. Why? I don't know. What does it say? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. No. Do you want to read it? Yes. Your assignment is to go up to the sunny west coast of Scotland. This is a low-risk mission, but you'll still need to use all of your field craft to photograph two iconic species of the Scottish locks, white-tailed eagles and otters. Good luck. This is Edwin. And this is Harry. And we are two unprofessional, professional wildlife photographers. Yes, we've been all over the place in the name of wildlife and adventure. And now MPB are sending us out on assignment. First up in our quest is the mighty white-tailed eagle, the UK's largest bird of prey. These birds became extinct in the UK when the last one was shot in 1918. Thankfully, multiple reintroductions from Norway mean there are now over a hundred pairs in Scotland. These are elusive birds though, so this wasn't going to be easy. Or was it? Okay, everyone, everyone stay quiet. So we're on our way up the mountain, there are two white tailed eagle. I don't know if it's a pair, but they're soaring high up on the thermals now. So we frantically got our cameras out of the bags, um, got a few pictures. Look at the size of that. The wings are so broad, and those primaries look like fingers which splay out like that at the ends. Well, this wasn't the plan, was it? No, it took us by surprise. They weren't meant to be there. <laughs> no. So we whipped our cameras out and this happened. The heavens opened. And <laughs> now we look like two <laughs> miserable wet trees. <laughs> well, that's wildlife, dude. Drenched. Distant record shots aren't what we came for, though, so we kept moving higher. Oh, yes, look at this. This is more like it. Look yes. at that view down into the lock. OK, perfect. So okay. if they fly anywhere here, you yes. should be able to get them through the trees. Exactly. Let's get set up. Is this a hood? Yes. Like this. Oh, that's the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the hood? <laughs> the eagles definitely won't see it coming. I won't see them coming either. <laughs> Once Ed found the correct headgear, all we could do was wait and pray for good weather. The heavens have opened again, so we're assuming the eagles have hunkered down somewhere. So we need to just wait it out and wait for this weather to pass, and then they might be able to fly again. This is definitely the less glamorous side of wildlife photography. <laughs> well, we look glam. <laughs> we look superb. Oh, dear. This location wasn't giving us the good stuff, and we were bored, so we moved on. En route, we found this. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So, as Ed said, en route, we found this thing, which is an eagle pellet. Yeah, so that's been coughed up by one of the birds. Gone. <laughs> it's full of hairs and fur and scales as well, so... Yeah, bits of fish, bit of mammals, and anything big enough to cough that up is going to be... It's massive, look a, at it! A pretty hefty bird, isn't it? Oh, my God. You can keep that. Thank you. Despite being in a better location, the eagles never turned up again, so we called it a day. Oh, good morning, cameraman Scott. Oh, morning. Now, that's the pressure's on. But we've come out so early, so we've got the best chance. So we quietly got ourselves set up for an all-day stint. I'm not sure why I'm whispering in this voiceover either. Probably to add to the atmosphere. Do you want me to camouflage you as well? Got it. The hills have eyes. Now all we could <coughs> now all we could do was wait for hours and hours and minutes until we saw nothing. You having fun? Oh, I, I, I just love this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> but then we saw something. There's two. There's one above. How the hell did we miss those? Okay, don't move. <laughs> There's a speck in the bins as well. We just had our first eagle sighting of the day after seven hours of setting, <laughs> more than seven hours. Longer than that, we've been here since sunrise. 
Oh, and even this was just a very, very distant encounter. Oh. This is about 90% of wildlife photography, I think. Well, we didn't quite get the eagle, no. but look at this. We did get this goose. <laughs> oh, look at it. This is your photo, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm very proud. It's exactly what we were after. So, <laughs> it's frame filling. Yes. It's got a superb background. Yep. And it's eye level. Yeah, the altitude thing worked, didn't it? It did, it did. But it's not an eagle, it's a Canada goose. No, <laughs> not quite an eagle. If though we do look at the photo of the eagle that we got quite early on. What a bird. It's not quite eye level. No. It's not quite got a good background. In fact, it's got no background. It's no background. <laughs> and it's not quite frame filling. <laughs> the only reason it looks quite big in this is because we've cropped it <laughs> all the way in so much. But it is an eagle, so that counts. We well done. One. We did it. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Harry. Where are we today? We are on the Isle of Mull in the Hebrides. I guess cameraman Scott's still with us in the back. Oh yeah, yeah, Scott's still there. Yeah, Scott will be filming us as we try and photograph otters. Superb. Yes, we are on the Isle of Mull looking for these things. For the eagles, we sat and waited. For otters, we're deploying a different tactic. When we're looking for otters, we're trying to cover a bit more ground, so we're going to spot them driving along in the car. Otters have... I don't know, oh, otters no, could no, drive cars. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I was looking down there. <laughs> wow. Right. I'll look for them coming this way. You see there's any behind us. <laughs> so we're driving up and down the locks in the car to cover more ground because the otters have large home ranges. So this is the best way to spot them. Smashed it, Harry. Even in a vehicle, though, there's no shortcut or guarantee to finding wildlife. At least we had nice weather, though. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's just got progressively worse and worse today. Or well, wetter and wetter. We've been driving up and down this lock for about four hours. We've seen nothing at all. And we kept getting our hearts broken because one of us would spot something and go, oh, and then we'd all get our hearts racing and it would turn out to be a rock or a duck. And then just as we were getting towards the end, uh, we pulled over because we were going to one of these pieces to camera where we'd explain how we hadn't found anything today. And then what do you know, I put my bins up. It's a f***ing otter. No, I'm not even joking, just there. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not joking, do you see them? I can see them. Two otters appear out of nowhere on the left. Ah, oh, finally. Right, well, Harry, the wind's clearly going that way. Yeah. The wind is so strong, so as long as we're a tiny bit downwind of the otters, there's no way they'd be able to smell us. I told Harry to go on ahead to minimise disturbance, so once he finds where they are again, when they dive, he'll give me a little hand signal and I'll come and join him. Off he goes, our little scout. Ed. You know, it's so difficult to follow these otters because the rain is driving across this lock it's right into our eyes and our lenses. So we did what we could to minimise disturbance. I think Harry got a couple of record shots these images capture, capture the kind of raw essence of what the locks are like <laughs> most of the time. Brutal. It's just brutal. <laughs> so at least we've seen them. We know they're here. It's a start, so we'll take it. Come on, cameraman Scott. Well done, buddy. Oh, good luck. Holy moly. <laughs> Let's see the photos then. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, that's an otter. Again. It's an otter. <laughs> but it's something. It's something, buddy. Well done. Well done, mate. Oh, you're all wet as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, nothing award winning but it proves we're in the right area. Since arriving on Mull, we keep getting stopped at these checkpoints because it seems like the whole island is run by sheep. Is your door locked in? <laughs> I don't trust yeah, them. it's locked. Here come the girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you got any cash on you? We, we offered them petty cash, they didn't want that, and then they just wander off again. It's very odd. The locals had a different approach to dealing with the woolly roadblocks. He's actually nudging those sheep. <laughs> <laughs> those there woolly speed bumps. <laughs> These woolly bandits. <laughs> don't Look stop, don't stop, otherwise they'll don't jump stop. in and take all your stuff. <laughs> Once we'd passed the sheep, we focused back on the otters, and we found one, except it was a deer. 
Nothing to do with the locks, but we have found two red deer here on Mulls. So Harry's getting some quick photographs. They're not really for this assignment that we're on, but still fantastic to see. There were two red deer right next to the road. I quickly leapt out, put the camera on the bonnet. Look at that fella. Bang, bang, bang. Some portraits of the <laughs> When I said bang, 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 <laughs> you started to smirk. So yesterday we saw two otters. Today we saw zero otters. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and tomorrow's our last day. The pressure was on as we entered our final day on Mull. Thank God we had Scott with us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, come back, come back, come back. Which way is it? Oh my goodness. That, li that took literally two minutes. That took two minutes. Cameraman Scott has seen, spotted another two otters. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Harry's gone off to scout ahead, but today we'll have to be far, far more careful because there's no wind and otters are really, really sensitive to sounds. They've got fantastic sense of hearing. So today is all about being very slow and very, very quiet. It looks like a mother and her kid. It's quite big, so they're both roughly the same size now. On a day like this, when the sea is glossy smooth, they're just beautiful to watch. You can see them so clearly, just breaking the surface and having a very relaxing, very enjoyable morning. Frustratingly for us, these two otters carried on out into the lock and we lost sight of them. And the pressure was now mounting on Harry. What's the score, Harry? It's two to cameraman Scott. That's you. Two to Ed. That's me. That's him. And zero to me. <laughs> zero. With time ticking, we gave it everything we had, checking up and down every inch of coastline and running between pit stops to make every second count. We ran in slow motion so as not to make too much noise. And you know what? It only bloody worked. Yes. Oh, you've just so we've got another one, another otter. So this one looks like it's on its own. Uh, it looks slightly bigger. Yeah, but most importantly, Harry's got a point. Yes! What just happened was absolutely fantastic. We were driving along, spotted an otter, and we all got our stuff together. We got ready. All right, he's dived. All right, just here. It's funny, isn't it? He's gone under for the longest time now. And we followed it for about an hour all the way along this shore. It kept popping up with food, chomping away on it, diving down again so we could get into position. We didn't get the photos we wanted, but a lot closer than yesterday. So a great experience, but still no photos. This encounter seemed to have changed our luck though. And as the evening started to roll in, the otter gods threw us a blessing. This otter was beautiful. All right, he's dived. This is so slippy. We followed it for the best part of a kilometer down the shoreline until eventually it decided to curl up and have a snooze. The wind is blowing kind of this way, so we skirt around then we can have him lit up nicely and we'll be downwind so we'll be able to smell us. It was the perfect scenario. We crept along the kelp, along the bladderack, the seaweed, silently, and we crouched down behind some rocks and we really took our time. This is just unbelievable. He was all snuggled up in a ball. He had a good old stretch. He, he rolled around for ages. Honestly, it couldn't be a better end to the day. We were getting quite nervous that we wouldn't get this close to an otter. And that's some of the best affirmation you could possibly get as a wildlife photographer. When an animal is so comfortable in its environment, being so blissfully unaware that you're even there. 
And that's when you capture those moments, those real moments of nature. Not something where it's looked at the camera because it's heard you or it's acting differently because it knows there's people around, but a true, authentic, in the moment image. We left that so late. It was a bit tight, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, but it was incredible. We got that was such a good encounter. Yeah, we got there in the end. We did. Okay, let's start with this one, which is one of yours. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why did yeah. you choose this? I love this one, man. It's a crack. What do you mean? Why did I choose this? It's a good image. <laughs> that's why. No, I did like this one particularly for the first reason that the otter is so relaxed and yawning. So that's what made that encounter so special. Oh, it's incredible. So it's nice to have that moment captured. But visually, I love how him having an open mouth brings a little splash of pink into the image, which is otherwise just dull tones yeah. of gray and blue. It draws the iron, doesn't it? Yeah. Superb. And this one, this is one of my favorites of yours. We didn't have long with this otter while it was curled up there, but you can see the sun just about to dip below the mountain in the catch yeah. light in the eye. Yeah, just um, glinting. That looks lovely. It's glinting. You've got this seaweed, the curve of the seaweed, it draws the yeah, iron. Yeah, that's nice. And you've got this breaking wave at the top. You can see as it curls in, I quite like that. Oh, you like that bit? Yeah. That was, going to be my, that was going to be my one bit I was no! going to ask you about. Because it's just cutting in on the top, that bright spot. I was wondering if that draws you away from the otter. Yeah, maybe I could have cropped in slightly. Yeah, yeah just a tiny crop like that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, great. Okay.